All right, last week I made a video, 10 surefire ways to pick up women. And I have to say something here. I was not being serious. Unfortunately, some people took it seriously. Uh, poor Craig Niederheiser of Quest for Fit wrote, Thanks for the advice. I want to say thank you so much. I want you to know I earned a night in prison, a black eye, a restraining order, and an OWI. I'm guessing that's uh, Midwestern for DUI or something. I think I'm getting somewhere, though. Being a single guy, this was so helpful. Oh, and I also had my first experience with another man in prison. Thanks, Tom. Well, Craig, congratulations. My program worked for you. The 10 Surefire Ways did work for you because you got lucky in prison. And I won't charge you this time, but my next consultation, we're talking about 100 bucks an hour. Uh, we'll get on Skype and I'll work with you. Maybe this time it'll be with a gender you prefer to be with. But that being said, honestly, I'm just a cranky old middle-aged married guy, happily married, but just having fun making videos, uh, poking fun at you young dudes on the move, in the game, in the hunt, because uh, I was once there too. And I did get some serious questions. I got a question uh, from a gentleman that wrote, what is your opinion if a girl wants you to chase her? I'm in this situation. So first I, I wrote back, I said, is she asking you to chase her? Because I, I've come across a few girls like that. They say like they like to play hard to get. They like the man to chase. Uh, there is a lot of tradition. And there is something to be said for that, to, to you being the one to kind of ask the date and all that kind of stuff or whatever, wherever you're going to meet up, you kind of set the agenda that is very alpha male. And a lot of women will just send like these, you know, as you get older, uh, you'll notice they just kind of send you these cues and, you know, they're just tossing you softballs and you're hitting a softball out of the park when you get older. So, uh, you know, yeah, you definitely want to take the lead. So these girls saying they want to be chased. Yeah, there are some girls that want you to pursue, but if, if they're saying that to you, they're kind of letting you know, and maybe they're trying to get you to pursue them. And that, that, that could mean a couple different things, but that's what that could mean. But this guy goes on to write, she hasn't asked. Well, that kind of sends a little red flag as far as I'm concerned. And, and he says, but she is flirty, and I think she likes me. She annoyed me yesterday because she brought up her ex and didn't keep a promise. So I kind of got annoyed, and I haven't contacted since. If she cares about me, she would contact me, right? I asked if she wanted to meet up with me today, but her reply was, sorry, I'm meeting a friend. Should I forget her? Appreciate the advice. So within the context of this paragraph, uh, there's two questions. Uh, first one is, if she cares about me, uh, she would contact me, right? Uh, yes, yeah, she would. I mean, like, you know, you're asking some girl out and uh, say, say the girl breaks up a date and uh, she says, I can't make it tonight. And uh, he's like, okay, no problem. Uh, you know, if, if we can make it some other night. And, and she says something like, call, call me later, or, you know, I'll talk to you, whatever. You know, forget about it, move on. Uh, so, you know, if she cares about you, she, she uh, would contact me. Like when I met my wife, uh, I think it was like, you know, I said, hey, let's get together uh, this night. And she said, I can't get together this night, uh, but I can meet up the week after on this night. Boom, you know. So this night she was she was working with me. Obviously, she liked me, and uh, that helps. Uh, your other question is, should you forget about her? Well, you know, here's the deal: is you can't forget about them, especially if you're young. You can't forget about these girls, man. You don't when you're young and like high school, college. You don't forget about these girls that you're chasing after and drooling over. Oh, they're stuck in your head for your life, but. You will have this revenge. It's called like either high school reunion or, you know, a little college get together when, you know, you're you're my age or even in your 30s and you go back and, you know, she's not the same. <laughs> she's not the same girl. And uh, hopefully she develops a little more personality to balance out the same stuff. But it can go the other way. I mean, there are some girls that get a lot better looking uh, with age. And, uh, you know, you want to be one of those girls that's kind of you know, on the way up too, because some girls are actually look better when they're my age, and I've seen the opposite. So that's a whole other topic. Just getting off on a tangent here, uh, but uh, you know, she is flirty and she likes you. Now, here's the deal, uh, especially when you're young. Uh, if she takes her stuff 
Now I'm going to say her stuff, her eggs to the donor. And this is a basic, basic math problem of male-female relationships, especially of the younger variety. A man's goods, the things that we need to procreate, uh, are come in big bunches. And if you know about economics, you know about supply and demand. The more supply there is, the less demand. Now you go to the sperm donor and uh, you're lucky if you get uh, enough money to cover a six pack of Milwaukee's best. Now a woman has about 400 eggs so you know in her lifetime her stuff's a little more valuable. A matter of fact if she goes to an egg donor or tries to help with some other couple get pregnant she will get a lot more money than you will. So that just in nature, that sets up a thing where men are kind of disposable and uh, women are like high value in the mating game. So guys, you know, you just kind of got to accept that. You just kind of kind of bounce from woman to woman uh, and you want to meet a woman that digs you. Uh, this girl does dig a guy. The guy she digs is her ex. And I'm going to I'm going to see if I can you know, write a little novel off your story, but I think this is a common story. Uh, you're either in high school or college, and uh, she had a boyfriend, and uh, maybe one night instead of dating her, he decided to get together with his buddies, or maybe he got together with her buddies and uh, didn't get together with her, and she was pissed, and she kind of temporarily broke things off. And in that little period, she went out and probably roped in about a half dozen guys with a little flirtation, a little smile, got some dates, lined up her, her little booklet. I don't know what women keep her, her iPhone calendar, her droid calendar, whatever, lined it up with a bunch of numbers, got a bunch of texts going. And she probably has her like Facebook page popping with a bunch of different dudes on there. And maybe you're one of them. And, uh, this friend she is now meeting that she blew you off for is probably this guy. Uh, he probably just got an eensy beensy bit jealous and uh, decided to take her back for a while. But he's in the driver's seat of that relationship. And uh, you were just a pawn in uh, what was going on there. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, you know, you want to be uh, like her ex with somebody else. You know, you need to find women you know you know women should treat you like you're the king and you don't want to be going around you know remaking dates with you know i don't care how good they look or how much how many smiles they they throw you know women a lot of women learn to do that you know you go to these restaurants like or, or women bartenders and they're smiling and chatting dudes up all the time they know it's an easy way to get a lot of tips and stuff like that and you know young women they'll do that and they, they want to get their boyfriends jealous and stuff because they're jealous as heck of their boyfriends so it's it's just a, you got to be a cold-hearted son of a bitch and you got to move on to the next one and the next time you know you set that date and you just look her in the eye and you let her know that you're going to be the one so hopefully this was help and hopefully this doesn't get anybody in prison catch you later